Are you a developer looking to supercharge your coding? Stay tuned as I show you the top VS Code extensions that will revolutionize your workflow. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy, and this channel is all about helping you to become a better developer with the latest tools and techniques. All right, let's get started. Let's face it, writing code that's both functional and beautifully formatted can be challenging. And when it comes to collaborating with a team, inconsistent coding styles can be a real headache. That's where Prettier comes in. It's an extension for VS Code that automatically formats your code so that you can focus on what really matters, writing great software. Installing Prettier is super easy. In VS Code, just come over to the Extensions panel and search for Prettier. Click Install. Once the extension is installed, open up your settings and search for Default formatter and make sure the default formatter is set to prettier. Now in your root directory, create a new file and name it .prettierrc. This file will be formatted in the JSON format and you can set things like semicolons, tab width, and more. Now if you save this file and come back and open up some code, when you save that code, you'll see that it now follows the rules that you set up for prettier. I have an entire video covering prettier. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. When it comes to writing robust, maintainable JavaScript, keeping your code clean and free of common errors is critical. However, it's too easy for us to overlook small mistakes that could lead to big problems. This is where ESLint comes in. ESLint statistically analyzes your code to quickly find problems, and most importantly, ESLint is flexible and highly customizable. To get started with ESLint, just search for ESLint and click install. And that's it, you've installed ESLint. Now to configure ESLint, just create a file in your root directory and name it .eslintrc. This file is similar to the one we set up for Prettier. It follows a JSON format, but it does have this rules object where you can specify the rules for ESLint. Now if we come back to our code and we see here we don't have a dangling comma, if I save this file, the indentation is updated and the comma is added. Number three on our list is live server. When you're developing a website, how many times do you find yourself saving your file and switching to your browser and hitting the refresh button? This process can be tiring and time consuming, especially when you're working on complex layouts or functionality. This is where live server comes into play. It simplifies your workflow by automatically refreshing your web page whenever you save changes in your code. To install live server, just come to the extensions panel and search for live server and click install. Once the extension is installed, just come down to the bottom right corner and click go live. Your website will automatically be opened up in your default browser. Now, if we come back to our code and make some changes like change web page to web site and click save, we'll see that the browser is automatically refreshed and our changes are reflected. This real time feedback can drastically speed up your development process. Up next on our list is Thunder Client. In modern day web development, working with APIs has become a daily routine. Testing those APIs often requires us to use external tools such as Postman, which can be disruptive to our workflow. Wouldn't it be great if we had a tool integrated right into the code editor? This is where Thunder Client comes in. It's a lightweight REST client extension for VS Code. To install Thunder Client, just search for Thunder Client and click install. Now we'll see that we have an additional icon for Thunder Client on the sidebar. Now all we have to do is click new request and we can see that a sample request has already been generated for us. Let's go ahead and test that out. Here we can see that the API has returned this data back. Now let's try a different API. Here I've entered the URL to get a random Chuck Norris joke. We'll click send and we get the joke back. Thunder Client can support various HTTP methods along with query parameters, changing headers, specific body types, and many more. I really love using this tool because it allows me to test APIs without having to leave the code editor. Up next on our list is auto rename tag. Auto rename tag automatically saves you time and effort by automatically renaming the paired HTML tags. So to install auto rename tag, just search for auto rename and then click install. Now if I open up an HTML file and let's say I wanna change this div to section, I can just change right here to section and the closing tag is automatically renamed. This extension is a massive time saver. It can be particularly useful in large and complex files where the opening and closing tags are not immediately visible at the same time, thus reducing errors. Coming in at number six on our list is CSS Peak. When you're working on a complex web project with numerous CSS files, it can be a real headache to remember exactly what styles are applied 
to a specific class or ID. This means you end up flipping back and forth between your HTML and CSS files. This just really isn't convenient and it's a real productivity killer. This is where CSS Peak comes to the rescue. It allows you to peek into your CSS classes and IDs right from the HTML file. To install CSS Peak, just search for CSS Peak in the marketplace and then click install. Now, if we come back and open up an HTML file, we can hover over a class and hold down control or command, and we can see the CSS that's associated with that class. We can also hold command or control and click on the class, and it'll take you right to it in the CSS file. Another way to navigate is to right click and click go to definition, and it'll take you to the CSS as well. Number seven on our list is import cost. Let's face it, it's easy to lose track of your project size when you're busy coding away. You might be importing libraries and packages without really realizing how much you're adding to your bundle size. This can lead to slower load times and a worse user experience. Here's where import cost enters the picture. It's a VS Code extension that displays the size of the imported package. To install import cost, just search for import cost in the marketplace and click install. Now, if we open up a JavaScript or a TypeScript file, we can see the import cost calculates and displays the size of the imported JavaScript package inline and right next to the import statement. This is great for keeping tabs on your bundle size. The extension supports both JavaScript and TypeScript and works for both ESM and CommonJS imports. Number eight on the list is version lens. Keeping track of package versions in a project can be a daunting task. Checking each dependency's latest version and comparing it with your current one and then deciding to upgrade can consume a lot of time. This is where version lens steps in. This extension provides inline information about your project's package versions, making your life a lot easier. To install version lens, just like before, search for version lens in the marketplace and click install. Once you've installed the extension, open up the package.json file, and then you'll notice that there is a V in the top right corner. Once you click this, you'll see annotations above each dependency showing the latest version available. If your current version is behind, you'll see a prompt to update it. Simply click the prompt and the version in your file will be updated to the latest one. Number nine, HTML tag wrap. We've all been there. You've written a chunk of text or code and you realize that it needs to be wrapped in a tag. Manually typing out the opening and closing tags, especially for nested elements, can be a real hassle. This is where HTML tag wrap comes into play. It allows you to wrap lines of text or code in HTML tags with a quick keyboard shortcut. Just like all the other plugins, just search for HTML tag wrap and click install. Now back in the code, if I wanna wrap this entire div in a section tag, I can just highlight the code and then just hit option W or alt W on Windows and we can see that it is now wrapped in a P tag. I can just type section and now that div is wrapped in a section tag, super easy. And last on our list is colorize. When working with CSS files or other styling languages, it can be difficult to remember exactly what each hexadecimal RGB or name color looks like. This is where Colorize comes in, displaying colors directly in your editor where a color code is used. As always, just search for Colorize and click install. And now if we open up a CSS file, you can see that every color code now displays its respective color, allowing for quicker and more intuitive understanding of your styles. And that's all for today. If you have a plugin that you feel should have made the list, then leave a comment down below. I would love to hear about it. And if you found this content helpful, please like the video so that others can find it more easily. If you'd like to see more content like this, click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a video when it comes out. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.